Yo, what is good, Killer Squad? The Hitman here back in another video. So today we're doing another Team of the Week prediction and Hero of the Month predictions, or I like to call it the Crystal Ball series. So as usual, let's set a like goal for um, 200 likes and let me know in the comments down below if you agree or disagree with me. And if you disagree, let me know in the comments who you guys think is going to be the Hero of the Month Team of the Week players as well. So we're going to start off with the starting five, and at the end I'll mention some players I don't think are going to get any cards this week. So let's start off with this point guard position, I guess. There's um, two players I think deserve. It. So we're gonna start off with um, Tyler Johnson the last few days He's been averaging about 15 points a game three four rebounds a game three four assists a game as well But he had a five steal game a 17 point game 24 point game a 23 point game So he definitely deserve a maybe a low end like an 83 overall gold next up. We have also Where is he? D'Angelo Russell had a 40 point game, but also had 22 point, 15 point, 18 point, 14 point game. He's been averaging about six assists a game, about two steals a game, which is absolutely crazy. So he's been absolutely destroying it as well. So for the point guard position, if he gets a card, he might be the um, 84 elite, probably not, maybe the 83, 80 overall. We'll see. I'm not exactly sure. So um, I think those are the point guards. Now we're going to go to shooting guard. I only have one person in mind. And if EA does not give this person an elite card, I swear to whatever EA gods there is that I'm gonna go crazy. Devin Booker has to be the team of the week elite 48 hour set, 70 point game. Not only that, he had like a 30 point game, a 20 point game. So Devin Booker, 100%. 100% I don't even have any other players in a shooting guard position honestly I just I d literally just have in my list of cards here I only have Devin Booker literally if there's no one else but Devin Booker that should be in a shooting guard position if they don't give Devin Booker a shooting guard I'm gonna be pissed so is everyone to be honest I think a lot of people will be mad that Devin Booker especially last week when he got like 40 points 25 points this guy should get it if, I mean if he gets a hero of the month I would be okay with it but i don't think he deserved the hero of the month just because he didn't play that well this month but i'm um, definitely at least at least the team of the week probably gonna be the set uh, actually not the set i think it's gonna be 48 hours because it, it has to be something crazy so 48 hours 70 points come on don't get it wrong don't get it wrong so now we're gonna talk about a small forward position i only had a few players this one's kind of hard i didn't find many players so i'm gonna start off with um, andrew wiggins obviously i gotta bring up andrew wiggins i think he's gonna be either a set one or not in the set at all. So we had 25 point game, 30 point game, 36 point, 22 point game, 20 point game, 26 point game. I always say Andrew Wiggins because it's absolutely been balling. So maybe he'll even get the hero of the month, but I don't know if they will put the same person from the same team on hero of the month. So I mean, small forward, that would be him. If not, we got the Nikola Mirotic. He had a 28 point game, 15 point game, 28 point game. He's been averaging about Seven rebounds a game, six rebounds a game, almost two assists a game. He had a three steal game, so he's been absolutely destroying it. So maybe he'll get a small forward card, maybe even power forward. I'm not 100% sure. Now we're going to go up to the power forward position. This one was hard. So I had like two players in mind. I had um, Lamarcus Aldridge. Since coming back from his injury, I guess, uh, his heart condition, he had a 19 point game with uh, seven rebounds, 21 point game, nine rebounds, 18 point, eight rebounds, 26 point, four rebounds, 23 points, 19 points. So, Lamarcus Aldridge, maybe he'll get an elite. We don't know. I'm naming all these players that might get one. He might be the high elite, the one you might put in this set. So, uh, he might be a nice one. And also, we have Marquise Chris. Who had a back-to-back -back 23 point game plus he had a triple a double double with the rebounds He had seven rebounds seven rebound nine rebound 13 point 16 point 13 point So he's been actually doing really really well So I think he might get one But the reason I don't think he's gonna get one as well is because if Devin Booker which I'm like Really hoping Devin Booker gets a card if Devin Booker gets a card Marquis Chris Marquis Chris will not because they're on the same team They usually don't like putting players in the same team with cards So those are my power forward now finally the center position. I got one person in mind actually I think I have two obviously I take Brooke Lopez every single week But he's absolutely doing very well 28 point 27 point 29 point 19 point 23 point having seven rebounds a game Maybe like one assist a game so he definitely deserves a, deserves a card I think the last time he got a card was a while back so I really want Brooke Lopez to get a card just my opinion just my opinion so we also have this one other player who uh, played really well and i think he already got 200 cards but you know ea doesn't always care about that but this guy right here had six i think six out of the last seven games he had was double doubles of which he had averages about 15 rebounds a game he had a 26 point game 35 point game 16 points he's been averaging about three blocks a game as well so this guy probably gonna get the set one 
So if my prediction comes true, I'm going to see probably set is going to be Rudy Gobert. Uh, Devin Booker will probably get the uh, 40 hours. I'm like, N -n -n I'm like, it has to be, right? It has to be. And uh, probably one of the random elites. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe LaMarcus Aldridge. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I really don't know. Now we're going to talk about the Hero of the Month predictions. There's a few of them that I obviously are going to mention. So first of all, we're going to mention Kyrie Irving. This guy's been balling out. 23 points, 26 points, 33 points, 46 points. So I don't think he's going to get Hero, uh, I mean, um, Team of the Week because there's already too many players in the elite area, I guess. So he's been averaging about 26, 27 points this month, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, he's been averaging some good assists as well. So Kyrie Irving, 100%, I think will, will be, not 100%, but I think deserves it for sure. Now we also have another play, Damian Lillard, is similar stats, but his team is going to the playoff, I think after yesterday's win. So I think he might even get the hero of the month. So he's been averaging about 30 points a game. He had a 22 point game, 21 point. And he's been averaging assists like crazy. Seven assists a game, about six rebounds. He's been getting about like four steals a game, almost four, like three steals a game, which is absolutely crazy. He had 30 point, 31 point, 49 point, 27, 36. So I think Damian Lillard, low key, is gonna get a card. Even though he got one not too long ago, I think he got a 92 last month. I was talking about Damian Lillard like two, three weeks ago and a week before that but dang this guy he has been balling out in the munch of the munch munch of mars the month of march so yeah i think he definitely deserves one uh, andrew wiggins maybe he'll get one i highly doubt it lebron james is not gonna get one because he already had a team of the week card we're not gonna see a james harden we're not gonna get a westbrook we're not gonna get Kawhi leonard because he already had a card and also they obviously they've been balling out triple double co mvps is what they've been saying i i hope i don't i don't know that'd be really interesting to see so yeah, those are my predictions. Again, uh, let me know if you guys agree or disagree with me. So I'm excited to see. I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm excited for it. This week is going to be super hype. I'm excited for it. I'm super hype. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree or disagree with me. If you disagree, let me know in the comments down below who you guys think is going to be hero of the month or team of the week. So uh, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see my latest videos, it's going to be on the right side of the screen. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I make videos on it daily. All right, I'm out. I'll see you guys next time. Kill it.